In this video, we're going to explore all those very useful functions. Let's start with the loop selection. The loop selection is going to work on any mode. So polygon edges are points. It's useful for each one of these modes. So let's see with the polygon. Loop selection is going to create a loop selection, obviously. So what is that? If I'm going to select this way, I'm going to select that patch of polygon. You have to be careful the way you're going to move your mouse. So this way, left to right, I'm going to select to create a selection based left to right. If I'm going up, it's going to select from the upward position. And a uh, loop selection is just a flow of polygons. So here it's very easy to see, it works. On um, this way, it can be a bit strange because we have a, a flow polygon following all that. And if you look at the, the flow, the flow of the polygon, if you follow the, that line, you will see that it makes sense and it's just following this path. So here, for example, it's much easier to use it just for the neck. I'm going to create a selection here and holding shift, I'm going to create a selection here for the, for the arm. And I, I can create another selection here for the arm. It works the same way in edges. Very, very often we use it in edges mode, selecting this point. And obviously it's going to work the same way here in points. Let's go back to the edges. I'm going to use something else. So let's go back here to um, our point selection. I'm going to deselect all. Let's go back to the edges and see the option. We have some very interesting option here, which, which is that stop a selection. So I have created that selection. And now if I'm going to use stop at selection, if I'm going to create a selection this way, it's going to, to stop selection here. So let's do something else. I'm going to create another selection right here. Now if I'm going to create a selection here, because it's stop at selection, it's going to create that selection. This is very useful, for example, when you are going to unwrap the UV on a character. We have a very similar option, which is here, stop at non-quad and stop at pulse. Stop at pulse, for example, is going to, to stop the selection somewhere here. You can see here, it doesn't follow the polygon flow. So here I can have some different loop selection, I can create this one, which is very interesting. I couldn't do it if I uncheck everything, as you can see. So let's deselect everything, and as you can see, I can't do it. Stop and unquiet, it's just going to stop every time it encounter a triangle or an end goal. The options are the same here in the point mode, but you don't have the stop at non-quad when you're in polygon mode. The ring selection is very similar. Let's go to the edge selection. Ring selection is going to create just a selection based on ring. So it's very useful, for example, to take all these polygons. I'm going to increase this way the selection. With that kind of selection, for example, I could use just here the edge cut, which are just going to add more selection along this way. You see, it's it's being done very quickly this way. So let's go back. The ring selection has the same option as the, the other, so I won't explain it again. Then we have the outline selection. The outline is going to select an outline of polygon. So the outline of the polygons are just polygons uh, which are not connected to anything. So here on our character, it's only here the nostril. As you can see, if I select here, it's going to select all those. Those are the holes inside the character. If I'm going to create, for example, something else, let's create a cube. I'm going to solo it, H to frame it, C to to make it editable, I'm going to select that polygon, erase it. Now if I'm going to use 
outline selection is going to create that outline. Please note that the outline selection is always going to work in edge mode, not in polygon mode. So that would be very useful to use another command, for example, which is the close polygon hole. Our mesh is whole again. I'm going to raise that cube and let's go back to the whole thing. I'm going to take my, our body. The fill selection is very interesting. The fill selection is going to fill a selection based on another selection. So here, for example, we have already a selection based on the neck here. And if I use the fill selection, you can see it's going to create the selection based on those polygons outside of that. It can be the other way, this way, for example. So let's select the head this way. Very easy to have a selection based on that. Let's go back here. I'm going to deselect all and use our loop selection to create a loop set here. I'm going to create another one here. Another one here. And a last one here. Now if I'm going to use the fill selection, I can create a very easily some selection based here on the torso. Let's go back. I could create a selection based on the, the arm, the legs, the other arm, the head, only with those selections. So it is here I could create that selection and then invert it to have everything but the torso. This is a very, very efficient way to create selection. All those tools have shortcuts. The loop selection is U, L, green selection U, B, outline U, Q, fill selection U, F. So if I'm going here to create that kind of selection even faster, so let's deselect everything, control, shift, A. Then I'm going to use the loop selection, which is U, L, U, L, to hit U. I have all the commands available. UL. I'm going to select UL. I'm going to select this selection. And that selection. And now UF to create that selection. So you see, it's very easy to create a whole selection this way. It's going to, to be easier. So here I hit shift which, which is going to add the selection let's go back here if i'm going to hit control it's going to deselect as you can see so it's very easy again this way to create our selection the last selection tool is here the pass selection so the pass selection is only going to work on edges mode Let's deselect everything. I just activated the axis by accident, so I deactivate. And now the pass selection is going to create a selection based on the pass. So that's a very useful tool. Very easy to create that kind of selection. And now if I'm going to use the fill selection, I can create the selection based on that selection. Let's go back to the edge, to the pass deselect everything our path selection have some more options as you can see we can hear the life path so the life path is going to do that we have the free path the free path is going to create the shortest way from this way to the other so it's very easy with the free path to create a straight line very very useful if i want to add that path to the other i just hold shift Life fitted path is going to create the shortest way based on a line. And the last one, simple edge loop, is going to create an edge loop based on a path. So it's very, very similar to the loop selection. Let's go back to the free path, which is the most useful, uh, the one you're going to use most of the time. You can create that kind of path 
easily with the move tool also if you're going to create the user move tool and select for example this selection by holding control so command and mac shift and clicking here you're going to expand the path so that would be very easy to create that kind of selection this way and again now i'm going to use a fill selection to create the selection inside that selection The last kind of selection is a front break selection. So it's not going to work here on our uh, character because we don't have uh, any edge break. So let's create uh, something else to illustrate that. I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to create a sphere. And with our sphere, let's uh, increase the segment, make it editable. Let's go to the edge. I'm going to double click here to have uh, edge selection and I'm going to right click and create a break front shading so this way now I have the front shading break as you can see here if I go back to our sphere I'm going to deselect everything we have the front break selection which is going to allow us to create to recreate this selection based on the front break and as you can see it's going to select that front break this way you can use also the front break but not using the edge break so for example let's go back to our selection file if i'm going to use now the front break selection you can override the front break and use a front angle so it's going to create a selection based on that selection as you can see you're going to create some patch of polygons based on the option I choose. It can be very useful if you have uh, some, um, some mesh uh, sometimes to create selection of only uh, a part of a body, of an object. The last selection is very useful is the mirror selection. So if I'm going to use the live selection, I'm just going to create a patch of selection here on the on our character. Or maybe let's do something more useful. Let's go back to the edge selection. I'm going to use the loop selection. I'm going to stop at pulse so that I can create a selection based on that and now this way okay now if i wanted to do create the same selection the other way i would have to do everything again or i'm going to use the, the mirror selection mirror selection has some option it's going to mirror the selection based on the object and the mirror plane which is z y so this is z y it's going to work let's click ok and i'm going to increase the tolerance and now have the selection now using the fill selection shift and i'm going to add the selection to the previous selection i had going back here to the edge selection shift i'm going to add again the selection so the mirror selection is very useful you can use it on object axis world axis you have the different mirror plane based here on your axis and the selection mode to add subtract our flip selection here if i use a flip selection for example i'm just going to flip the selection so it's very useful yeah.